Hey friends, Dylan McManus with Henry Cowell Redwood State Park. Now I'm speaking to you from the lovely and enchanting Fall Creek, which is a very special unit of our park. Fall Creek is home to an abundance of amphibians, namely salamanders. And that is because, as the name suggests, there is a very large creek right over there. Now, just the other day, I was hiking around Fall Creek, and let me tell you, salamanders galore. Today, I'm hoping that we will be able to find a few of these salamanders together. Let's wander over to the log behind me and have a look. Oh, wow-wee! One of the most iconic salamanders in the whole Santa Cruz mountains. Oh, I can't believe it. You are watching Wild Henry Cowell Redwoods. This, my friends, is a California giant salamander. As you may have guessed from my reaction, we are incredibly fortunate to find this beautiful little bugger. California giant salamanders are one of the most iconic salamander species in the entire Santa Cruz mountains, and they are surely one of the most beautiful. These little cuties are among the largest salamanders in the Pacific Northwest and the Western United States. They can reach lengths of 12 inches. That's like an entire ruler. I suppose they're not so little after all, huh? In addition to their enormous size, they are recognizable by their massive heads. Stout limbs. We can see just how stocky and strong the arms and legs look here. And a beautiful marbled pattern on their top sides. Conversely, their undersides are a bit more pale. However, if you are interested in crossing paths with a California giant salamander, you are going to need good fortune and a stroke of luck because they are nocturnal and subterranean, meaning that they spend a fair amount of their lives underground. These critters usually emerge from their subterranean burrows at nightfall or during large rainstorm events, much like the one that has descended upon us this afternoon. It is during these times that the California giant salamander patrols the forest floor in search of food items like insects, grubs, small rodents, other salamander species, and, well, pretty much anything they can fit their mouths around. Perhaps their most favored meal are banana slugs. Now this might fill us with remorse, but we have to remind ourselves, all living things need calories. The California giant salamander has to eat too, and it is certainly a very hungry species of salamander. Now, we absolutely don't want to disturb or cause harm to these animals. So we are going to bid farewell to this California giant salamander, continue on our way, and hope to find another. Oh, so long there, little dude. Okay. See you next time. California giant salamanders are an aquatic salamander species and are seldom found further than 150 feet from a water source, usually a creek, stream, or brook with a fair amount of rocks, pools, and underwater chambers. Let's not forget that these animals are subterranean. That means here in our park, there is an abundance of suitable habitat for these salamanders. Of course, all salamander species thrive in the drizzly winter months, 
they actually depend on all this precipitation and moisture for survival. But the California giant salamander in particular is closely associated with permanent water sources. This is because the adults reproduce underwater and give birth to young aquatic salamanders with gills, webbed toes, and a flattened tail, much like that of a fish, which helps with its swimming abilities. Needless to say, these characteristics are very different than the adult California giant salamander that we just discovered up the hill. And that, my friends, is because these amphibians have two very distinct phases of life, the younger aquatic phase and the adult terrestrial or land phase. The younger aquatic salamanders are called larvae, and they'll spend their first couple of years underwater. We can think of the larvae much like the children. Let's wander down to the creek together and see if we can find one of these aquatic babies. As previously mentioned, we certainly don't want to alter or negatively affect salamander habitat. So we are going to stay on the trail, only turn over a few of these stones, and we are also going to do this extremely carefully. And when finished, return them back to the exact spot in which we found them. Here, there is an aquatic larva in this shallow pool. It might be difficult to see against the dark colored mud, but it is indeed there. This salamander looks to be about three inches long so it will remain in the water until probably next year. At that point, it will lose its gills, develop lungs to breathe air, and transition to a lifestyle on land. This phenomenon is known as metamorphosis, the same process of a tadpole transforming into a frog. But this species, the California giant salamander, is both fascinating and a little bit cheeky because not all of the larvae go through metamorphosis. You see, it is very common for the young aquatic salamanders to reach adulthood or sexual maturity without losing their gills and without developing lungs. In other words, they sometimes refuse to transition to a lifestyle on land and instead become full-grown adults while remaining in the water. The salamanders who refuse metamorphosis are called pedomorphs, and this is a really fun and neat word to say aloud. Pedo meaning childish, and morph meaning form or shape. So, pedomorphs are the adult California giant salamanders who still have the shape and the characteristics of the children, or what we are calling the larvae. Pedomorphs usually measure greater than five inches in total length. Now that is one complex lifestyle, huh? Let's say goodbye to our aquatic friend here and continue on our way. Okay. All right. During our short rendezvous today, we found one adult California giant salamander as well as a younger aquatic larval salamander. This demonstrates to us that there is so much more to discover here at Henry Cal Redwood State Park than just the coast redwood trees. To think that these awesome amphibians reside right here beneath the canopy of the trees is probably enough to make you grin with excitement and jump with joy. 
Before we say our goodbyes, toodles and tadas, we do need to talk about the idea of stewardship, or protecting this park and all of the things that live here. Much more important than finding a California giant salamander, or any salamander species for that reason, is protecting the environment. Even though we are fortunate enough to stumble upon two California giant salamanders today, we also took measures to ensure that we were protecting both them and their habitat. And in doing so, we were demonstrating good stewardship practices. For example, we stayed on the trail. We repositioned all rocks and logs exactly as we had found them. And we certainly did not physically disturb any animal. We definitely wouldn't have been good stewards if we didn't do these things. Sadly, we do see examples of really poor stewardship in our park all the time. And it's just such a terrible thing to witness because it essentially means that habitat for these animals is being destroyed. Believe it or not, amphibians are the most threatened classification of animals on Earth. Almost 45% of all amphibian species are currently declining. There are five endangered and or threatened species that live here in Santa Cruz County. Truly, they depend on our good stewardship practices and responsible behaviors to survive. And so, it is unbelievably important to be a good steward and practice proper stewardship etiquette whenever you visit Henry Cal Redwood State Park or just go hiking outdoors. Follow all park rules and regulations. Stay on trail. If you happen to turn over a rock or log, reposition it exactly as you had found it when finished and do not touch or harm any animals. If you have a question about California giant salamanders or anything that you heard during this episode, comment below. You can also reach out to me at dylan.mcmanus at parks.ca.gov. I want to thank you very much for tuning into this episode of Wild Henry Cowell Records. We'll see you next time, my friends. Toodles!